I'm going to show you how to take any image and add some awesome pixel stretch effects to it exactly like you see over here and over here. Let's get started. Hi and thanks for joining. It's Amit from Design Hackers and today in the tutorial I'm going to show you how to make some awesome pixel stretch art using Adobe Photoshop. To get started we have an image over here from Unsplash which is an awesome website for free images and you can access this image from the comments or from the description in this movie tutorial on YouTube. The first thing what we're going to do is change this background into a regular layer. To do that, I'm just going to double click and click OK. Now over here in the properties, we have a new section that's called quick actions. You can just click on that and then select remove background. This is some artificial intelligence that will remove the background automatically using a mask inside of Photoshop. What's nice about masks is as you can see that it didn't do the foot part too good so we can paint some white over with a brush over here and it will bring back the part so I'm just gonna use a brush with a hard brush and just push down the size a little bit and you can see that if I'm over here on the mask and I am painting let's move the opacity to 100% it's just starting to bring back parts of the foot and you need to be really gentle with this and make sure that uh, you're being precise but overall that's how you work with masks and how you work with the remove background inside of Photoshop. Now we need to zoom out so I'm just going to go to my keyboard and command or control minus to zoom out and we have our subject over here I'm just going to move him a little bit more to the center and the next part is just making a duplicate of this. So just going to drag him to the layers pane. Now you see what I've done now is I've dragged the mask by mistake. What we want to do is drag the left part over here down to the plus icon and just release and we made a duplicate. We're going to call the original layer subject and the duplicate over here is going to be used for our pixel art but let's start making it first and then we'll rename it so right now we have a mask and we want to uh, apply the mask so right click on the mask and then click apply layer mask great we have a raster of this and now we can start duplicating it so hit alt on the keyboard and start moving your left key on the keyboard to the left side and just hit it many many times and as many as you can just to make many duplicates and you can see that we're starting to make some pixel stretch art over here which is going to be used for creating our pixel stretch image great so we made a lot of these as you can see I just made 150 copies and we want to merge them all down before I'll merge them down let's just hide the layer above and now make sure the first one is selected and scroll down to the last one right click on one of these and then click merge layers so you can see this created an awesome effect over here but it's not perfect yet what we're going to need to do is move parts of these under each other. So the first thing I'm going to do, just make sure your ruler is on by Command or Control R. You can turn it on and off at any time. And I'm just gonna drag from my left side a guide over here. And this is just going to help me understand where my pixels are. So we want to move some pixels from the hand and from the foot to be underneath over here instead of the image itself. To do that, I'm going to use the rectangle marquee tool and just select parts over here. And after we have the parts that we want selected, we can just move this using the move tool. Make sure to hit shift when you're moving just so it will be 
exactly one under the other. And we need to do the same thing again for the foot part. So just select it using the marquee tool and move it using the move tool. Let's move this to the left. Oops, I'm not on my uh, on the correct tool. Perfect. Great, so we have everything almost set up. Over here in the marquee tool, I'm going to move into single column marquee. What this does, if you just click once, it selects one pixel, and that's the exact pixel that I've wanted to use for my pixel stretch effect. And the next thing what I'm going to do is right click and I'm going to change this to select inverse. The reason why I'm selecting the inverse and not the pixel itself is because I want to delete everything except the pixel that's under my guide right now, which I don't see. And now I'm going to click Command or Control D to deselect whatever we have selected and Command or Control T and this is the pixel that we want to stretch. To start stretching it, what I'm going to do is just hit Alt on my keyboard and I'm just stretching it. Then you can hit Enter to accept the changes that you've made. And let's zoom out a little bit. So Command or Control minus and bring back our subject. So now that the subject is back, we can see what we've created. And I, I can move this stretch to the left, which is where it's going to be initially. And we can give this a name. So I'm just going to give this layer a name. I'm going to call it stretch. And let's add a background as well. So to add a background, over here, down here, we have the create new fill layer. So I'm just going to hit that. And over here, we're going to make a fill of a gradient type. So click gradient and we have some presets over here once you click on the down arrow just going to use this preset and change it maybe to a radial preset and hit OK now you can see it's above the stretch so we're going to move the gradient beneath our stretch and we can continue playing around with this so I need to stretch my stretch all the way to the side so let's go Let's snap it to the side, Command or Control T, and now we can use our keypad, or excuse me, our mouse to stretch this to the exact point where we want it to snap, which is under the foot over here. Hit Enter to accept your transform changes. And the next step is going to be to start warping this to create all sorts of awesome folds. Before I continue, I'm going to save this because in this tutorial we're going to do two types of styles. So later on we'll use this style too and let's rename this right now to style one, which is the first style that we're starting from. So to continue with our stretch, Layer, just make sure it's selected. Command or Control T, right click and warp. Now what's awesome about this is that we can just hold down on the points and start playing around with this. So that's, for example, one way it can look. And I'm just going to continue playing around with this just so you can see all the different ways that we can stretch this. So for example, let's go for this part and hit enter to save. So really cool. We have an awesome stretch over here. And the last part is adding some shadows and highlights before I start showing the technique number two. To start adding some shadows, I'm going to need to create a selection. Now, the selection needs to come up with this fold that we've created using the warp. So to do that, I'm just going to choose my path tool, my pen tool, to create a path. Over here, you're going to want to be on path instead of shape, just so you're not coloring and you can see what you're doing. You can get closer by Command or Control Plus. And over here, I'm going to start selecting over here, 
try to be as precise as prob as possible because you know that's part of graphic design being exact great so i think we're good we want to go around and now we want to create this path into a selection so i'm just going to right click and select make selection now hit ok and we're going to want to make this shadow into a new layer so i'm just going to hit plus over here and now it's a new layer which will be called shadow so to start creating our shadow what i'm going to do is i'm going to use the brush and instead of a hard brush that we've used earlier i'm going to use a soft brush and we can push up the size over here and make sure you're on black so that's about it this can be even bigger so let's go for around 500 and in the opacity let's push this down to 20 percent and you want to be really subtle with this you can see what i'm doing just starting to add little shadows over here and it can be darker on some parts, maybe where it's closer to the fold, and lighter on the others. And you can see how nice of a shadow we've created. Now, I'm going to deselect my selection, so Command or Control D. And you can see my shadow is going out of bounds over here. So what I'm going to do is just I'm going to um, clip it to my stretch pixels. So right click and create clipping mask and you can see now it's clipped let's give that a name i'm going to call it shadow and i'm going to give you access to these psd files as well so just so you can play around with them and understand what's going on let's get our guide out of the way by dragging it outside and two more things before we're going to move on to our next style let's add some highlights on the top the top part over here so Let's go between our stretch and shadow. So just select the, the stretch part. Add a new layer. We can call it highlight. And let's change the brush to a white brush instead of a black one. We're going to leave it with the same opacity and the same type and same size. And just add a couple of white touches over here on top. You can play around with the blend mode if you want to, for example, color dodge or whatever you want. And you can just push the opacity down and turn this on and off just to see if that's what you wanted. If it's not what you wanted, then you can just delete it and that's it. So to finish this off, I'm going to select my subject, add some blending options and in the blending options I'm going to add a drop shadow in the drop shadow you can make an angle so just play around with the angle and you can push up the distance over here and maybe the size and that looks pretty awesome so something soft and subtle and we're done with the first part of this tutorial to jump into the next part I'm just going to open style number two that we saved earlier, which is this part over here. And for this part, what we're going to need to do is move our subject to the center. And what we're going to do is crop this into a square. So image, canvas size. And over here, we need the height and the width to be the same. So I'm just going to copy my height paste it into the width input box and click OK. This will make my canvas into a perfect square. Now this is really important for what we're going to do because we're going to use an effect that works only with squares. So I've moved my uh, pixel stretch art to the top. I'm just going to crop it exactly to the square using Command or Control T. Get our guide outside of here. And now what I'm going to do is jump into filter and use distort and polar coordinates. 
this will make an awesome circle for my pixel art and as you can see it placed it in a great place but you can move it around to wherever you want and play around with this I think that's pretty awesome just gonna lock my background and move this a little bit more to the center so it will be more aligned just get a bit closer to see what's going on and over here in the stretch layer I'm going to mask this layer so just click over here in the layers pane on the mask and using black color so I need to move between the colors and a harder brush instead of the lighter brush now we need the harder brush move up the opacity back to what it was and I can start deleting off parts so for example if I don't want this top part or I don't want this part I can delete both those parts and now you can see we've created an awesome radial round pixel art stretch to finish this off like we've done earlier I'm going into blending options on my subject and I'm going to use a drop shadow just as we've done before and you can turn this on and off just to see how that makes your subject pop out I hope you found this tutorial helpful if you did please subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'm going to see you in the next video